Let's rank the worst and the best hair care brands on the market. If you're new to my channel and if you're not, welcome back. I'm Mike Amhu. I'm a hairdresser, a L'Oreal color specialist, a makeup fan and a skincare lover. In today's film, I will be ranking the best and the worst hair care brands on the market. So if you want to sit with me on this one, then you better keep on watching. What is the story everyone? In today's film we are ranking the best and the worst hair care brands and I am going to mainly concentrate, but not mainly, I am concentrated on professional hair care range. I just thought it's fair, do you know what, get the professional together, we will do drugstore some other time and we are really concentrating on hair care as in shampoo conditioner etc we are not going into styling products because sometimes i find i may not like shampoo or the conditioner but i love the styling products from that range so today we are really ranking just the best and the worst shampoos and the conditioners for that i am using tear maker so you guys we have i think 14 brands that we're gonna rank and we have four categories so we have the holy water which are the products that are the holy water for your hair then we have yes please which are products that i do love but they're not a holy water they're not the holy grail of hair products but yes please put them on my head then we have does the job which means the product does the job and if i don't have anything else in the shower or my bath that will do the job and then of course we do have heap of dirt which is product for your bin or products i just do not like and i am quite disappointed with right let's get right into it guys nobody is safe so starting off with the first brand and over here i have all the brands on the bottom and i just picked out all the professional brands that i know because i am not gonna say that something is good if i haven't fully tried it so the first one over here we have is biolash now so biolash is a very very interesting brand i love biolash Biolash, I keep saying Biolash, Biolash, I love Biolash, it's an amazing brand, the scalp sink shampoo is absolutely gorgeous, it is from naturally driven ingredients, it feels lovely on the scalp, however, this brand is going to be yes please, definitely, no, it's yes please brand, it's not a holy water, even though I love this brand there, it's not enough in the range, it's not the holy grail of hairdressing, but I do like the brand and I do use it on my hair. Now, the next one over here we have is Kevin Murphy. Now, when it comes to Kevin Murphy, you guys, right, where do we start? Kevin Murphy is a lovely brand. Their styling products are amazing. I mean, their styling products are brilliant. However, every time I tried their shampoo or their conditioner, I was very disappointed now they do the job so basically they're gonna go in as does the job because they do the job and if i had nothing else i would i would wash my hair with that now next thing we have 11 australia and i did review 11 australia a very very long time ago on my channel and it did a grand job however i tried more of their products now their styling products are brilliant but i did try more of their shampoos and conditioners and I was not so impressed so I mean when it comes to 11 Australia I must say it will be a heap of dirt when it comes to shampoos and conditioners because styling products are they're absolutely amazing it's just the shampoo and the conditioners there for a professional hair care range they're just not there right next thing we have Davinus and Davinus is absolutely amazing I love what they do for the environment I love the products I love it in my hair I love it in my clients hair I think Davinus is a really, really good hair care brand and Davinus is the holy water of hair products. I definitely think Davinus deserves a spot there. I think it's brilliant. It's good for the environment. It's sulfate free, so some of you may like it. I think Davinus just ticks all the boxes. Right, you guys, the next range we have is Purology. I love Purology, I love the range, I love it in my own hair, I love that it's driven from naturally derived ingredients, I love that it's vegan, I love that it's all recyclable and good for the environment, however the range is very very small. I wish they extended the range, they had more products, I mean there's only 7 families, we could do with a lot more. So for that, 
Purology is gonna go into yes please, but it's a good product overall and I do love it. Right, next thing we have Bedhead. Now I haven't used Bedhead in a very very long time. When it comes to TG and bed hair styling products, amazing. And that's what keeps ha keeps happening. When it comes to styling products, they're brilliant. I love them. I can't get enough of them. But when it comes to their shampoos and conditioners, guys, they are literally a heap of dirt. I just can't put my finger on it. It's just it's just not what we expect from a professional hair care range. It's just it's nearly drugstore-like cheap feel to it when it comes to shampoos and the conditioner. It's very gimmicky, but the styling products are brilliant. Right, you guys, the next range we have is Kerastase. And Kerastase is a hip dirt. Oh, imagine if I said that. No, Kerastase is... Do you know what? When it comes to hair care, I think Kerastase just ticks all the boxes. Now, I know it's not perfect, but we do have a wide range of products. We have families for everything, we have dry hair, damaged hair, we do have scalp shampoos, we have for blondes, we have for curls and coils. We literally have everything. We do have sulfate free options, we do have silicone free options in Kerastase. So for that, Kerastase and the for formulation that Kerastase is, Kerastase is the holy water. Of hair products. So far, what do we have? We have the holy water, which is Davinus Kerastase. Yes, please. We have Biolage and Purology does the job. We have Kevin Murphy. And for the heap of dirt is Eleven Australia and Bed. And I feel actually bad putting Eleven Australia as the heap of dirt, but listen, they'll be fine. Their styling products are ace. Right, the next product we have is Moroccan oil. And like that, when it comes to Moroccan oil, I love their hairspray, I love their curling range, and I like their texturizing spray and dry shampoo. When it comes to the shampoos and the conditioners, however, you guys, when it comes to all that, Moroccan oil is the biggest heap of dirt on the market. It's overpriced. I wouldn't wash my dog with it if I had a dog. The only shampoo that I like from them is the clarifying shampoo, but overall, I think the shampoos and the conditioners from Moroccan oil are overrated, overpriced, and they're a heap of dirt. So they're going down to a heap of dirt. Sorry, Moroccan oil, but it's true. It's a waste of money. And the oil itself, I don't like the oil. Right, the next brand we have is Nioxin, and Nioxin is known for being one of the biggest um, hair care ranges for scalp. And what Nioxin does, does really well. Nioxin knows how to treat the scalp, Nioxin is good for the scalp. However, one thing I do not like about Nioxin is the packaging. I think Nioxin is a brilliant brand when it comes to your scalp issues, hair growth, hair diameter, anything to do with scalp, Nioxin knows how to do it. The packaging is a minus because it just looks very clinical, it's very off-button for me. So for that, Nioxin will just go in and to yes, please, because I, I've no beef with Nioxin. I think Nioxin is good. It does what it's supposed to do. So I mean, yes, please, Nioxin, yes, please. Right, the next range we do have is Paul Mitchell. And Paul Mitchell is very, very, it's a very known brand. It's known for years. It's been around for a very, very long time. And Paul Mitchell is very good. It has some cult products. I call it the cult brand because it's been around for so long. However, Paul Mitchell, there isn't enough there for taking care of our hair. Like they have good shampoos, as in like shampoo one, two, and three, and then tea tree. Those are good core shampoos. But when it comes to more specified hair care, looking after your hair for damaged hair, blonde hair, there isn't enough. Like the range, the, the range is big, but it's not big. Do you know, there's a lot of products, but there isn't a lot of products. Their styling products are definitely a lot better than their shampoos and conditioners. But for that, I do love the tea tree shampoo and the shampoo three. However, the rest of the brand and shampoos and the conditioners just meh. So for that, I will put, that was definitely not a heap of dark because I use it in my own hair. It does the job. I mean, it does the job. I do like shampoo one, I do like shampoo two, I do like shampoo three, I do like tea tree. I just don't think there is enough of products for certain hair types. Now, next thing we do have is Siri Expert. I love Siri Expert, magnesium silver, the, one of the best purple shampoos out there, metal detox shampoo. I live for it, I'm using it currently on my hair. Pure resource shampoo, amazing. Is it the holy water of hairdressing? Is it, or is it yes please? 
is it? Now that's a tough one because I do like Siri Expert and there's some shampoos that I absolutely love. Do I think is at the same standard as Kerastase? I do not. Kerastase is a lot more out there. It's a lot big. Now, Siri Expert did get a vamp up recently and it, the packaging is all recyclable and everything. Does it deserve to be in the holy water for that? I think Siri Expert is a yes please product. I do love it, but it's not at the same standard as like Kerastase or Davinus. That's just my opinion. I do love the product. I do love it. Now, next thing we have is Osmo Hair Care. And Osmo Hair Care is a professional hair care range. And I did use it for a very long time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that I did use it for a very long time. And what do I think of it? I think it's an absolute hippo dart. Guys, when we're looking at this chart, we're getting a lot of hippo dart comparing to like the holy water. And yes, please. Huh, interesting, right? But yeah, no, Osmo is a heap I don't think it's that great. I mean, there's, it's, it's a profession, like they call themselves professional. I don't think it's professional at all. Right, next thing we have is Sebastian Professional. I love Sebastian. Styling products. And like that, we're going back. Styling products are amazing. The shampoos do the job, basically. It's, do you know what? It's just going in to does the job because it does the job. And if I didn't have anything else in the shower, I would use Sebastian Professional. I mean, the shampoos are not, well, have they wowed? They haven't wowed me, but I don't think they're like, oh yeah, I need to go buy Sebastian for my shampoo and my conditioner. No, but if it's there, I am gonna use it. So yeah, it does the job. Now you guys, last but not least, we do have Aveda. And I think Aveda, do you know what? I like the ethos behind Aveda. It's good for like the planet and they're doing all that. It's a bit fake, it's a bit, they're not really honest with people, but I mean, they're trying their best. And it's extremely overpriced. I did review Evade a few times on my channel. I mean, some products are just beautiful. The scent, I mean, the shampoo scent, the shampoo scent is absolutely gorgeous. However, do I think it's a holy water? No, do I think it's a yes, please? Would I rebuy Evade? Probably not. But if it was in my shower, I would definitely use it. So Evade, does the job. So you guys, when we're looking at my ratings, and I, I didn't rate that prior to this film, I'm literally just rating as it goes. So what do we can see here? We have, it's fairly even. When it comes to the holy water, we do have Davinus and Kerastas, and that's, yeah, that's quite surprising because I definitely thought I would put more products into the holy water, but we're going to talk about it. Obviously, Davinus, amazing wide range of hair products. It's brilliant for environment. It does what it's supposed to do. It deserves a spot in the holy water of hairdressing products. And Kerastase, Kerastase is just a holy grail. I, do you know what? You may not like it, but I, I genuinely think Kerastase is probably one of the best. And I am not sponsored by Kerastase. Just to get this right, Kerastase does not sponsor me. But if they like to sponsor me, I'm not going to say no. So Kerastas, you can't sponsor me. Um, when it comes to Yes Please, we have Biolage. I think Biolage is beautiful. Their packs are gorgeous. Their shampoos are lovely. I mean, the scalp sink shampoos, like I just love anything refreshing. It is a beautiful, natural hair care range. So I can't fault. Purology, Purology would be a holy water if the range was wider. It's just such a small family. I love that it's vegan, it is natural, it's everything that I want in a hair care. I just need more hair products, that's all. When it comes to Nioxin, scalp, scalp, scalp. You have scalp issues, hair fall, hair loss. Nioxin is your guy. If Nioxin had a bigger, better packaging, it probably would have ended up in the holy water, but the packaging is a very letdown and I hardly recommend Nioxin to my clients due to the packaging because it's so medicated, look it. And then we have Siri Expert and I feel bad for Siri Expert for being in yes, please, but I actually, I'm actually pissed off with Siri Expert at the moment because they discontinued one of my best favorite shampoos, which was Saurus Essential by Siri Expert. It was 100% vegan, 100% natural, and they just got rid of it. I was so disappointed because I love that shampoo. No, I'm not punishing Siri Expert because I do use Siri Expert in my hair and I absolutely love it. But I don't think it's at the same standard as Kerastase. 
When it comes to does the job, I mean Kevin Murphy amazing styling products like that, shampoos are just a bit of a letdown and I don't think they're worth the price. When it comes to Paul Mitchell, Paul Mitchell is good. Shampoo, tea tree shampoo is brilliant. Shampoo one, two and three and the conditioner are brilliant. Styling products are amazing. I just like to see more and more prescribed products that would kind of up that in my rank. Sebastian Professional, I like that. Styling products, amazing. Shampoos and the conditioners, they're all right. And Aveda is just overpriced, in my opinion, for what it is. And then obviously, let's talk about the Hippo Dart. And the Hippo Dart we have is 11 Australia. Now, I don't think 11 Australia is an extreme Hippo Dart. It is a Hippo Dart, but it's not. Like, I remember I reviewed the Volume Shampoo and then I reviewed, um, what was the other one? The bar soaps, that was the bar shampoos. And the bar shampoos were meh. Like it wasn't all that. And I just got really disappointed because their styling products are amazing. Bedhead, it's very mediocre hair care shampoo and a conditioner when styling products are deadly and they smell amazing. Then we have Moroccan oil, an absolute overpriced heap of dirt that I hate. I hate that product with passion. Clarifying shampoos, I'll give it to you. The consistency, the smell, everything about that shampoo just no no and then we have osmo which is just a brand that i just don't stand by when it comes to professional hair care products anyways guys thank you for watching today's film i hope you found this film rather interesting helpful and useful please like share comment and subscribe to my channel also check out my other social media and of course you guys please 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 do take care bye